The Oberon system is a modular single-user single-process multitasking operating system developed in the late 1980s at ETH Zurich using the Oberon programming language. It has an unconventional visual text-based user interface for activating commands, which was very innovative at that time. History the Oberon operating system was originally developed as part of the NS32032 based series workstation project. It is written almost entirely in the Oberon programming language. The basic system was designed and implemented by Niklaus Wirth and Jörg Gutnecht and is fully documented in their book Project Oberon, and Martin Reyes's book, The Oberon System. It was later extended and ported to other hardware by a team at ETH Zurich and there was recognition in popular magazines. Wirth and Gutnecht refer to themselves as part-time programmers in the book Project Oberon. In late 2013, a couple of months before his 80th birthday, Niklaus Wirth published a second edition of Project Oberon. It details the implementation of the Oberon system using a RISC CPU of his own design realized on a Xilinx FPGA board. It was presented at the symposium organized for him at ETHZ. According to Joseph Temple, a former member of the developer group at Igenesische Technische Hochschule, Zurich and later member of the Institute für System Software of Johannes Kepler University of Linz, where one version was maintained. The genealogy of the different versions of the Oberon system was the following. User interface. Oberon has a text user interface which has to be differentiated from the terminal user interface. It combines the point-and-click convenience of a graphical user interface with the linguistic strength of a command line interface and is closely tied to the naming conventions of the Oberon language. Any text appearing anywhere on the screen can be edited and can therefore be used as command input. Commands are activated by a middle mouse click on a text fragment of the form module command. A command is defined by a procedure, which has an empty argument list. Parameters to the command have to be defined before executing the middle click. There are no checks or any questions asked during command execution. This is sometimes called the non-modal user interface. Nothing like a command prompt is required. Although radically different from a command line, the two e is very efficient and powerful. A steep ascent in the early learning curve makes it a little bit difficult in the beginning. No questions are asked. This is a deliberate design decision, which needs getting used to. Most editors ask the user when closing a modified text. This is not the case in the Oberon system. The usage of the TUI e in programming interface is documented in Martin Reyes's book, The Oberon System. It has yet to appear in more commonplace operating systems. Rob Pike's Acme system under Plan 9 from Bell Labs was strongly inspired by the Oberon TUI. E. Whether the worksheet interface of the Macintosh Programmers Workshop influenced Oberon's TUI or vice versa is difficult to decide. Oberon system was based on Worth's previous computer design the Lilith, and both the Apple Macintosh and the Oberon system were all inspired by the Alto developed at Xerox PARC. Versions and availability the Oberon OS is available for several hardware platforms, generally in no-cost versions. It is typically extremely compact, even with an Oberon compiler. Assorted utilities including a web browser, TCP, IP networking, and a GUI. The entire package can be compressed to a single 3.5 floppy disk. There were versions which emulated the Oberon OS on top of another operating system and versions which run on bare hardware. The latter ones are called native Oberon. There were native versions for the series Intel IA32 and ARM platforms. In 2013 Niklaus Wirth adapted the basic system as described in Project Oberon to a current FPGA design. According to the preface of the 2013 edition, the whole system compiles in less than 10 sec on a Spartan 3 board. The version called Oberon B4 is closer to the original operating system developed by N. Wirth and J. Gutnacht.
It was originally developed at ETHZ, but when HP Mossenbach went to Institute for System Software at Johannes Kepler University in Linz the development of V4 moved also. Therefore, V4 is sometimes also called Linz Oberon in contrast to Eth Oberon. The most recent version of V4 and extensions are available at JKU. Oberon V4 appears to be orphaned, there are almost no changes since 2000. Another repository of E4 is Claudio Nida's Oberon V4, which also shows difference between the different V4 implementations. Since 2013 this page moved to, is mirrored at SourceForge. V4 is closer to what would now be called an integrated development environment than an operating system of its own. There were many extensions written for V4, which are still available from the FTP server of SSW at JKU. Some documentation can be found on their web pages. More is normally included in the packages in Oberon's special rich text format. The computer science department at ETHZ has in recent years begun exploring active objects and concurrency for operating systems, and has released an early version of a new language active Oberon and a new operating system for it, first called AOS and due to copyright issues, now called A2, and, or Blue Bottle. It is available from ETHZ with most source via the internet. Native versions, i.e., running on the bare hardware, are currently possible for Intel i32 and x86-64 single and multiprocessor systems and for the strong ARM CPU family. Versions running on top of another operating system are available on Windows, Unix, Linux, and OS X. As a part of an industrial research project, the Native Systems Group of ETHZ has developed an application-specific operating system called Stalaus, which is based on the latest version Oberon OS. It is targeted towards applications like real-time analytics, high-performance trading systems, main memory-based ERP etc. Native Oberon Native Oberon stands for the Oberon system running on bare hardware. PC Native Oberon is the version of the Oberon operating system which runs on IA32 PC hardware. It has minimal hardware requirements. The basic system runs from a single HD floppy and additional software can be installed through the network. The full installation includes the gadget's GUI and is surprisingly functional given its small code base. It is written completely in the Oberon programming language. Some confusion is caused by the fact that there exists a version called LNO, which uses Linux his hardware abstraction layer. Its goal was to be as compatible as possible to PC native Oberon. Other versions of the Oberon system, i.e., without native in the name, had partially modified interfaces of low level modules. Project Oberon. The work included a revision of Project Oberon, identified as Project Oberon. The system has since been ported to a Xilinx Spartan 6 FPGA development board by San Lima Electronics. In 2015 Paul Reed collaborated with Viktor Yorkovsky in the creation of Oberon Station, a Xilinx Spartan 3-based computer designed specifically to run Oberon. Gallery Oberon on a Tatung TWN5213CU tablet.